Hi, I'm Brad Power, and I'm the found, co-founder and president of Cancer Patient Lab, and I'm here with my co-founders, Brian McCluskey and Rick Stanton. And today we'd like to share with you what we feel is unique and our purpose and mission of the Cancer Patient Lab and some something about the services we offer. I'll kick it off. Um, I got involved in this because of a friend of ours, Bryce Olson, who one day was saying he needed help with his next treatment options because he'd hit a wall. And I said, I can run a hackathon for you. And he said, let's do it. And so that led to a crowd coming together to help us learn about his disease and what his next best treatment option was and which we did. And from that, we built the Prostate Cancer Lab, which uh, is a community of advanced cancer patients who are learning about their disease and figuring out their complex testing and treatment options. To do that, we have a weekly webinar series where we talk with experts. Uh, we interrogate them, find out what the latest is in testing and treatment. And then we also have patients share their cases and what uh, the decisions that they're facing. And then the crowd, the community helps them make those decisions. Uh, turn it over next to Brian, who will talk about his his perspective on why we're here and what we do. Thanks, Brad. Yes, as Brad mentioned, I'm a co-founder of the company, uh, chief operating officer. I'm also a, a prostate cancer uh, survivor patient. Um, you know, we are here because we really want to develop a deeper understanding of our cancer as patients. Very data-driven, and in my case, I've had a number of different treatments, and more and more, they are uh, they're guided by the data that I have about my cancer. And that data has come to life through the service partners that we have at the Cancer Patient Lab. And so, you know, we're unique in the sense that we are patient-led first and foremost. And if you think about healthcare and the importance of patients in defining and evolving uh, the way that healthcare is delivered, patients are the consumers. We are vital to that mission, and we believe that our experience is unique uh, in that we are very, very focused on better understanding our cancer and then uh, translating that, that insight into better treatment options. That is what we call translational medicine. Um, we're also unique in the sense that we're not alone. We have about three dozen patients in the cancer patient lab, and some of them are, or actually most of them, are, are what we call patient scientists. They are trying to uh, hack their cancer in the same way that I am and Rick is, and uh, we're very fortunate to have them. And so, uh, so Rick, I'll turn it over to you to talk about your perspective on why the Cancer Patient Lab is unique and what it offers you and our other patients. Sure, thanks, Brian. I'm Rick Stanton, uh, Chief Technology Officer uh, I'm an advanced prostate cancer patient, and I've hit the end of standard of care. So at this point, what should I do? What is my next treatment? Uh, there's thousands of clinical trials and dozens, if not more, uh, next treatment options, but all of them are a little unclear because we're past the standard of care. So I'm very fortunate to be part of this cancer patient lab where we try to do uh, organize personalized assays. So for me, I not only had my genomics uh, sequenced, but uh, RNA uh, sequenced as well via the RNA sequencing, which wouldn't have happened otherwise. You know, it's just not a standard thing. Uh, it was identified that uh, B7H3, which is a cell surface molecule expressed on uh, prostate cancer cells, I overexpressed for it. Well, that uh, led to a very nice match. So I'm now enrolled in a, a clinical trial targeting that overexpressed molecule on my prostate cancer cells. So it's very hopeful. Uh, it, it's from all these choices, I was able to make a personalized medicine choice that uh, wasn't just a shot in the dark and well we'll try this one we don't know uh, it was guided and I wouldn't have had that without cancer patient lab and now I have 
you know, some, some hope here and uh, some enthusiasm. And we share that. We, we share that. Uh, and that's a huge thing I get out of this lab. So please join us at our online discussion forum. And we look forward to seeing you there and, and engaging in uh, conversation. Thank you.